Welcome back to New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. I'm very allergic to cats. Oh, find out more about that, I'm sure. But not dogs. That's Brooklyn hanging out there over on the side. And you're back for our boot camp workout challenge, workout number two. Uh, first things first, if you made it this far, then you got through the first workout, and then you've loaded up a second one, so congratulations. Um, a lot of people will just talk about things, so maybe they subscribe to the channel, but they never do the first workout. Or they do the first workout, and then they feel really good, and then life kind of gets back to you, and then you don't get to do the rest of the challenge. Uh, but you're here, and you're back for workout number two, so welcome back. Uh, we're gonna be doing another 40 minute workout, that's gonna involve you either one dumbbell or one kettlebell. So Coach Cole is gonna be using a dumbbell. I'm gonna be using a kettlebell for the workout. Um, take a look at it though. There's nothing super, uh, sorry, too, too complicated during the workout. So whichever one you have is uh, okay to use. Sometimes the kettlebell is a little more technical. That's the only reason I was taking a look there. Um, if you are in New York City, we do have live classes in Manhattan, Queens, and Brooklyn, and so you can check those out. There's a link down in the description. And then lastly, before we hop into the warm-up, um, please, 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 before you get going, before you get sweating into the workout, like this video, and then go ahead and then subscribe to the channel. We have these boot camp workouts. We also have 20-minute bodyweight workouts and then 10-minute abs workouts, and we put up new videos every week. So um, you can see, get the new content and notifications if you subscribe, and it really, really, really helps us out. So we appreciate that. Um, okay, enough talking. Time to work out. With that being said, Coach Cool's gonna get us going on a warm up here. All right, crew. Let's start with 50 jumping jacks. Feet out, feet in, hands overhead. Out to 50. I'm also allergic to dogs too, by the way. Cats are worse though. Um, I think I'm slightly allergic to Brooklyn, yeah. so I feel you there. But oh, cats just—if you can't hear me, I'm like, no, it's second into like a three-day spiral of. Oh, sneezing. What, it's their saliva? Is that what they say? I don't know, I think it's the cat's dandruff. It their just dandruff. like gets in my face and it will not go out for a couple days. It's crazy. Uh, we're gonna go hands on the floor. We're gonna hit five inch worms. I'd like your hands to hit the ground. You'll walk yourself out to a nice high plank from your feet or your knees right now. You may hit a push up. You may walk back in. Roll it on up. That was one. We'll go four more. So what, you take some a bunch of Benadryl? Um, well Benadryl make me sleepy. Sure. And then you take some, um, but I should take Benadryl today. I think Claire's in most, most Claire. days, but I don't know, cats are just evil. <sighs> We're gonna get some high kicks in. I need a big right arm circle. Left foot comes up, meets the right hand, go right back down. We're gonna five each side. Stretch out those hip flexors. It's been really nice in New York for the past couple of days, so I've been doing a lot of walking. Miles. Been miles of walking. My hips are really pretty tight. Have you been spending any time? Has Brooklyn been spending time outside? Not so much. What I've been doing? I've been working a lot. We've been doing a little time in the park, but she's definitely going to the heat. So, she's pretty tired in general. Yeah. Um, we're going to finish off with some slow air squats. What I'd like you to do is put your feet where you like to squat. We're gonna hit 10 and we're gonna count to three on the way down. So one, two, three, right back up. One, two, three, that's two. Count for yourself, wherever you're at. I need 10, slow, air squats. It is getting busier in New York City here. The weather's getting a little nicer. So you may hear a lot more traffic and kind of street noise. It's Sunday afternoon, but still, Daylight savings. Give me some more light. I could never live in like Alaska. I love Alaska, but like the, the, the times where it's like nighttime for 22 hours out of the day. That's the only reason you couldn't live in Alaska? Yeah. I mean, other than that, what's wrong with Alaska? Cold. Oh. Ah, I like it cold. The cold's fine. <laughs> it's not a problem. It's daylight. Oh. I need some daylight in my life. Alright, uh, rest it out, take a quick change if you need, grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell. I think our strength started really soon. Todd will explain it today. I'll demo for us. Take so about another 20 seconds or so until we start talking about the movements for today and the first part of the workout. Um, similar to what we did last time. We are going to be starting with about 10 to 12 minutes of a strength focus. 
and then we'll take a break. We will talk about the movements that we'll be doing for the second part, talk about the format, and then that will be an 18 to 20 minutes conditioning focus. But first things first, our strength focus is coming up, and we are gonna be doing two movements, pretty straightforward. First one is gonna be some single arm thrusters. So Coach Cole is gonna get the dumbbell up to his front rack. From there, he's moving out to his squat stands. Feet are just under his shoulders. Toes are turned out slightly. He's gonna squat all the way down, and he's gonna stand up with uh, some purpose, with some oomph, finish with a press overhead. Um, so that squat to a locked out position overhead, that's gonna be our thruster. Uh, and he was just doing that on his right hand side. That's great. Uh, let's go ahead and set that down. Oh, you wanna give us some right side one? Yeah, left side one. Why not? <laughs> left side, keep it even. We can't have those muscle imbalances. Uh, from there, we're gonna be going into a plank. So this will be a straight arm plank. Coach Cole is gonna set up with his wrists underneath his shoulders. And then everything else in his body is gonna be in, in line. So he's gonna have a straight line going from his shoulders through his hips to the knee, to the ankle straight line going through. He's thinking about squeezing his quads right now. He's squeezing his glutes. He's keeping his core nice and tight so that he doesn't get any saggy in, in the middle. Go ahead and relax. Thank you, coach. So how's, how's the format gonna be today? Today it's gonna be 30 second clock that we're on. So for the first 30 seconds, you're gonna do thrusters on your left hand side. Clock beeps, we're gonna go ahead and switch. You're gonna do 30 seconds of thrusters on your right hand side. Clock's gonna beep, we're gonna switch. You have 30 seconds of holding that plank position. Clock's gonna beep, you have 30 seconds of rest. That's one round, and we're gonna do that for six rounds. So, I'm gonna get the clock ready. You're yeah. gonna get ready to do some thrusters on that left arm first. Mm. 30 on the left, 30 on the right, 30 seconds of a plank, 30 seconds of rest. Going in, five, three, two, one, we go. Find that dumbbell or kettlebell under that left shoulder. Give me a nice full squat like Todd's doing. Give me a good old crunch overhead. In this 30 second window, you need a breath or two. That's fine, totally cool with me. Take that breath overhead, cool. Take a breath in, a breath out, then go back down right into a squat, right back up. Overhead is just a much better and stronger place to press and breathe than in that front rack for that weights on your, your neck a little bit, hold you back from breathing. We're switching in three, two, one, opposite side. So, as we're getting through this, Coach Cole is just reminding you that that best position is gonna be for resting, it's gonna be overhead. For the movement, try to use your lower body as much as possible. So the more that you can stand up quickly, squeezing those quads and those glutes quickly, to stand you up faster, you're gonna create more momentum to make the press overhead easier. We're switching in five seconds. Plank in three, two, one. Here we go, 30 second plank. Hands are under your shoulders. Squeeze your quads to keep the legs straight. Squeeze your glutes to keep your hips open. Nice tight core for your back. Good news is 15 seconds in, 15 seconds to go, halfway. You got 10 seconds. Remember, we got 30 seconds of rest after this, and that'll be our first of six rounds. Resting in three, two, one. Nice job. 30 seconds of rest. Well done. Now Okay, we're back at it in 15 seconds. Again, back to that left arm. Thrusters for 30 seconds. or comfortable with. This is just the strength portion today. All right, we're gonna get breathing a little bit. That's cool. But I don't need the world's fastest thrusters. You can push, punch, take a breath, go back down. Building consistent thrusters is more important than building fast ones. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Ten seconds in, looking good. Hang in there, keep moving. 
We're switching in 10 seconds. Plank in five, three, two, one. All right, plank position. Don't forget to breathe here at this plank. All right, 30 seconds, way too long to hold your breath for me. Keep that core squeezed while you breathe. Don't forget to put air in and stay nice and tight at the same time. We're halfway there. You got rest coming up, five seconds away. Three, two, one. Good, number two. Woo. Nice job, nice job, two rounds in. Third round's coming up, just over 20 seconds here. That's 15, back at it. Here we go, six, five, four, three, and we are in it. So now that we're starting to settle in, I want you to be trying to count your reps, not just doing them. Seeing how many you get on one side, if you're starting with your left, it's a weaker side for most athletes. Um, so, however many you get on your left, shouldn't be a challenge to then also get on your right hand side. We're switching in three, two, one. And then once you've kept them even, you know what number you're doing from side to side, round after round, don't let that number decrease. So just because you're getting a little more tired, I want you to try to dig a little bit deeper instead of just doing less and less reps as you try to fatigue or as you fatigue more. Plank in five seconds. Three, two, one. Find those hands. Here we are. If this is getting a little challenging on the wrist for you, sometimes it is, you can go ahead and drop down to your forearms, but the preference is for today that you keep straight arms as long as you're not experiencing any sort of um, pain or discomfort. You got rest coming up in just about five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. In. Three to go, halfway. All right, nice work. We're gonna be back in just about 15 seconds. Don't wander too far. Don't worry, I didn't go home. <laughs> I, I didn't just get here, but I think I did. Five seconds. Left arm, three, two, one. Here we go. <sighs> Over halfway at this point. Nice job. Definitely warm by now. Definitely getting in the groove. Ten seconds, then we switch. Good. Switching in three, two, one. Thrusters on the rack. Good, here you go, halfway. Last 10 seconds. Five seconds, play. Three, two, one. Here we go, 30 second play. Nice job, nice job. Coach Cool was saying earlier, don't hold your breath. You gotta try and keep breathing. It's tough to do when you're first learning how to keep tension in the middle and still breathe, but I can assure you it can be done. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh my God, there we go. What's going on over here? It's a little party. All right, we're back at it in 15. Okay. 
Here we go. In five, four, three, two, left arm, here we go. So we got this round, and then we got one more. So you're getting there. We're gonna have a little bit of extended rest coming up. If you're starting to feel it, if you're starting to feel these thrusters, I just wanna remind you again, the more you stand up with power, the more impressively you stand up, the more momentum you're gonna give that weight, and so the less shoulder overhead pressing strength you're gonna to need to use every rep. We're switching in three, two, one. So, on the second side, try to think about squeezing those quads, squeezing those glutes a little quicker and a little more aggressively. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Six. Five. Get another good rep in. Four. Three. Two. Right here. Plank. Here we go. Thirty second plank. Let's do it. All right. Nice work. Halfway there. Less than fifteen seconds to go. 10 seconds. Oh yeah. Five seconds. Resting in three, two, one. All right. Whew. One more round to go. Thruster, thruster plank. I love doing a little bit of breathing work and trying to recover in a plank position. It's really good. Really good combination. These will be the last thrusters you do today. Cool. One minute of thrusters. Five minutes left. Half on the right. Promise? I do promise. I have the best promise I'll keep. Four, three, two, here we go. That's set. So we got 90 seconds of work, less than 90 seconds of work right now, and then a bit of rest afterwards. So push it a little bit harder, a little bit harder than you have for these last couple rounds because you know you have some extended rest coming up. We're switching in five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, let's get sad. Last 20 seconds of thrusters. 15. Plank in 10. Hang on, give me another one for me. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Last thing. Here we go. Don't let it go. Hang in there, hang in there. Got a lot of rest coming. You have less than 15 seconds to go. Keep those hips up, don't let that butt sag. Resting in five, three, two, one. Woo, okay. Nice job, sweet. It's done, check. Nice job, get a drink of water, take a second, let's catch your breath. Got about 90 seconds or so, and then we'll start talking about the conditioning. sets of 30. 30 reps each. It's a little bit bigger set than we typically work with. Just changing it up on us today. All right, so three, two, one, go. The clock's going to start. Todd's going to give me 30 Russian swings. He's going to grab his kettlebell by the handle, or he's going to grab his dumbbell if he has one by the top of the, uh, the head, just like this. He's going to give me some Russian swings. So, 
to hinge back, keeping your chest nice and proud the entire time, and you're going to reach right about to shoulder level with that kettlebell. Cool? You're going to do 30 of those. Then, we're going to do 30 deadlifts for the next movement. So, you're going to stand over that bell or dumbbell, same grab the dumbbell, you'll hold it by one of the heads. He is going to put his, push his hips back, soften his knees, reach, what's up, honey? What did I do? The floor, it has nothing to do with you. The floor is slightly uneven, and so I'm like patting around like Brooklyn sometimes, trying to find the exact right spot. That's the only thing I'm finding here. Totally me. Please continue. He's gonna push his hips back and reach down for that kettlebell, staying nice and proud. Gonna keep it right over that toe area that's in right now. Stand it up in a nice straight line. Reach back down for the floor, tapping the floor every single rep. You're gonna do 30 deadlifts for me. Cool. After his last deadlift, he's going to hit the ground, find that same plank position we just used for our strength, hands under the shoulders. He's going to give me 30 mountain climbers. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 29, 29, and 30, 30 is how we're going to count. Hold to both legs you need to move for you to count one rep for me. Then he's going to grab his handy dandy pillow. Loose clues, anybody? Love loose clues. <laughs> We got this handy pillow, we don't have pillows because we're in a gym, so we're going to use ab mats. You can use a pillow, you can use a loaf of bread, anything you can hang on to, really. And a loaf of bread? Yeah. If you use a loaf of bread, I will please take a before and after photo <laughs> of the loaf of <laughs> what that bread. loaf of bread looks like. Hey. Because if you're like me, it's going to be pretty smushed. And we're going to do as many pillow pass throughs as we can until that three minute window is up. Cool? Uh, to regroup on a pillow pass through, you're going to be in a hollow position with nice pointy toes. You are scissoring your legs, kind of like a flutter kick, and you're passing that loaf of bread between your legs every time. So you're going to do as many of those as you can until that three minute clock is up. There's going to be a beep. We're going to say back to the start. We're going to get right back into our 30 swings, which is where we're beginning for the day. Cool. So we'll give us about 30 seconds, and we'll get into our Russian swings. So, last week, last week, let me just say, last workout, workout number one, we did the strength without any rest. So we did eight minutes continuous, just kept switching sides. Today we had some rest of the strength. We had that 30 seconds of rest. Today's different though, because now in the conditioning, there's not gonna be any sort of built-in rest. You're gonna try to find some rest, maybe try to catch your breath or whatnot when you're doing those pillow pass-throughs, but it's gonna be continuous for the six rounds. So, um, just a different way to challenge yourself. Know that going in, it's going to be a little bit challenging, but just do your best. Try to not take um, any more breaks than you actually need. We've got Brooklyn out of the way there. Ready to rock? Got, I got a clock ready. Let's start the clock. We got 10 seconds. What are we starting with? 30 Russian swings. Got one of that kettlebell or dumbbell, swing up to eye level. Three, two, one. Here we go. Depending on what weight we're working with today, I would ideally have you do these 30 without putting that dumbbell down. If you need to put it down somewhere in there, you do 15. Put it down for a quick two or three count. Pick it back up. Keep on swinging. Again, we're going to work with a little bit bigger numbers today than we have previously. That's all right. Tom, what number are you on? 17. 17. Perfect. I'll come right up with you. So, as we're doing these swings, just like the thrusters, the more aggressive the hip opening, the easier the press overhead is. For the swings, hinging at the hips, the more aggressive that hip opening, the easier it is to get that kettlebell to the Okay, you're exactly 60 seconds in. Two more minutes to go. Should be by should be through the Russian swings at this point and onto these deadlifts. There's 30 deadlifts. We have a bunch of rounds coming up. It's easy to get tired and fatigued. It's easy to not pay attention as that's happening. So just try not to let your back be rounding, rounding, rounding. Butt down a little, kick that chest up so that back stays neutral while you're hinging and deadlifting up and down. Since you are working out at home, you can, maybe if you need to right now, pause this quickly and set yourself up in front of a window or a mirror that you might have in your apartment just so that you can keep an eye on that back. It's not a bad idea. Where you at, coach? 26, 27, 28, 
and then hinge the hips, not the reverse order. Here about 60 seconds in. Now, um, something else that can be helpful, whether you're doing our boot camp workout challenges, whether you're doing workouts in the gym, at home, outside, wherever, um, to build upon what we talked about about resting, if you need to rest in a workout, most of us will need to rest somewhere in a workout, Counting yourself down is a great way to help yourself stay on track and keep on moving at a pace a little bit faster than you probably want to because that's the goal here. Another great trick, if you're in your small little living room or a bedroom, this is an easy thing to avoid, but another great trick is to try and not leave your weight when you're resting. Cool? So I'll put my kettlebell down if I'm in the gym, take a couple breaths, I'll stand around and I'll end up like a good 12 feet away from it. All right? That's just wasted time. Cool? So I like to breathe right next to my weight, keep myself from walking around too much. Fun That's super common what Coach Cool's explaining. I useful. When people like to go go for a walk around the gym. Yep, walk in the park. <laughs> when they're supposed to be on a three or five second break in, in, in the workout. Um, so that's a really great point. Um, really hard though, really hard for people that like to go yes. do that to, yes. to stay. It's a really tough habit to, to get out of. Um, like you walk away and then you're like, I'm ready to go again, but then you still are, you know, five or six steps away from your weight, so you know you're not going for the next 10 seconds. That's just wasting time. We're trying to move fast, as fast as we can here. All right, we got 30 seconds. Back to your 12 grain holy pass through. Fifteen. Switch it to ten. Ooh. Three, two, one. Thank you. Stand up, grab the bell. We are just past halfway for today. We're finished strong and I don't know what else. Strong and good today. My two magic pins. You're holding on to that dumbbell, your fingers are getting a little bit tired, that's cool. Take this. Drop that dumbbell, shake your fingers out, don't go anywhere, don't go into the kitchen, start cooking a meal. I'm kidding, of course, but. Alright, just at that 60 second point. if you're looking yourself in a mirror, all right? You want that weight to move as straight up and down as possible. That's just movement efficiency. Any forward or backwards movement in that kettlebell, dumbbell, or barbell, you have a barbell deadlift. It's just a waste. It just means you have to work harder and move more weight through a longer distance. Well, we are going to work out, but we're also going to work out smart. So straight up and down, you do a great, great job. You're going to do that right vertical pull and lower to the floor. All right, got just over one minute to go. Okay, since we're over the halfway point, it's definitely gonna become more challenging for you to try to keep getting the same score you're getting. By the score, I mean how many of the uh, old-fashioned dry pass-throughs have you gotten through? If you got 20 of them in the first round, ideally that's how many you're going to get round after round. Um, so you're over halfway. The hardest part is what? Probably the rushing swings. What do you think, Coach? I would say the, the swings into the deadlifts. Yeah, a little combo. The swings and the deadlifts, and once you get done with those 30 swings, actually going straight into deadlifts and not setting it down and trying to take a couple breaths before you come back to it. Ooh. So. Just mentally know you only have to do that transition two more times. And so that shouldn't be as challenging, hopefully. But you are going to be back to the swings in just about 15 seconds.
So this coach over here has probably got five or seven more of these pass-throughs before we go ahead and switch. Back up in five, three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, round five, we're getting there. For a lot of people, this is going to be the hardest round. The fifth Absolutely. round. Okay. Last round, the sixth round, you know there's nothing after it, so you don't mind pushing a little bit harder. This round, you have four before you. You're somewhat fatigued, so it's a little harder to keep that pace. But you only have two and a half more minutes. You can do it. So let's just try to see if we can push, push, push. deadlifts again. Stay close to that dumbbell or kettlebell. Stay right over it if you want to. Strand good if you can. You get just over one minute in. Less than two minutes to go. Less than five minutes overall. Again, as we start to tire, sometimes we can start to lose focus or awareness of our back position. So, chest up, chest up is just a coaching cue that's commonly used to remind you to just pick the chest up so you're not rounding your back, but you're trying to keep that nice neutral back while you're doing the deadlift 30 times. You got just over a minute to go. Should be pretty close to the mountain climbers if you're not there already. And those mountain climbers, their second to last set, really try hard to keep your hands under your shoulders. That's just a positional thing. Keeps your abs engaged and working. So it's be a core movement. So let's get your breath going. You can get those 30 down as fast as you choose. Fast as you drive those legs. Fast as you get onto Ooh. the sun pass through. All right, nice work. 30 seconds to go. Last round's coming up. Whew. All right, you got just over 15 seconds. Hang on with that forward. Oh, yeah. You got five seconds. We're going back to our swings last time in three. Two, here we go, Ooh. last time, come on. Last 30 streams, let's go, let's do it. If you get out of the zone for this last round, give yourself a second, take a breath of pull yourself back in it. Put that face back on, get serious. We got less than three minutes of work to go. We're gonna finish strong today. We'll get out of here. Workout two will be in the books and done. One way to do it though, and it's right on through the end. All right, you got just about two minutes to go. So you are almost there. Try to push, push, push. You know you're gonna be done at some point. The next 120 seconds or so. Straight to the deadlifts. Good. Hang in there. You got just about 90 seconds to go. That's it. Last 90 seconds coming up. Very nice, looking good, looking good. This should be getting pretty close to the mountain climbers. Last one, best one. We're going right up on our last minute. Kilos 30, 
find yourself flipped over, bring as many pastures as we can. Here we go, less than a minute to go. Last minute of work, gonna be done. Let's see where you're gonna finish it. Here we go. Just about 40 seconds. Almost there, almost there. Last 30 seconds. How many of these pass-throughs can you get? Cool, don't put those feet down. You can find one more squeeze for 20 for me. That's all I'm asking for, hang on for it. Last 15. Fight that bird, stay on with it. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Ooh, ooh. nice job. Oh, oh my core feels ghost today. Oh yeah. All right, nice job, everybody. Hi. Hi. Go say hi to someone else. <laughs> oh, you're gonna say hi to me. Hello. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice job, everybody. Um, so you made it to the end to the second. Workout of our boot camp challenge. Congratulations. Again, if you haven't already liked the video and subscribed, it really does help us out a lot. <laughs> it helps us out a lot. So if you could go ahead and do that now. Um, if you live in the New York City area, we have live classes in New York City, uh, in Manhattan, Queens, and Brooklyn. We also have one on one personal training. You can learn about all of that uh, in our description. Um, all the workout gear that you see, t shirts and shorts and whatnot, also available for sale online, also down in the description. And if you want to say hi, Myself, Coach Cole, you can even go find Brooklyn on Instagram. All of our profiles are down there. And with all of that, um, we're going to see you next time for the Boot Camp Workout Challenge number three. Until then, peace.